respected members of the Sangha and friends in the Dhamma. As president of the International Council for the Day of Vesak, ICDV, president of International Association of Buddhist Universities, IABU, a member of the Supreme Sangha Council, chair of the Thai Tripitaka Translation Project. I am very pleased to welcome you all to this 17 international celebration of the Vesak Day here on site for the local participants at the UN Conference, Conference Center in Bangkok. This celebration is jointly organized by Mahajula Lungkorn Raj Jivitya University, MCU, Mahamakut Buddhist University, MBU, National Office of uh, Buddhism and Department of Religious Affairs, Ministry of Culture. On behalf of the Thai government, which we are fortunate today to have Excellency Dr. Visnu Krengam, Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand, in capacity of Acting Prime Minister of Thailand, because right now our Prime Minister is paying a visit to New York for the ASEAN Summit with USA. So, Dr. Wisnu Krengam, representing the Thai government, to welcome and giving opening speech this morning. And on behalf of the UNSCAP here, the ex executive secretary of the UNSCAP assigned, Mr. Mit She, to welcome us and to introduce the speech by the general secretary of the UN and uh, speech by executive secretary of the UNSCAP. As you know, we are able to come here to celebrate in this well, U, uh, U, U, UNSCAP office because of the 1999 resolution made by the General Assembly of the United Nations. The Assembly adopted a resolution to the effect that the day of Vesak, which falls on the full moon day in the month of May, be celebrated at UN headquarters in New York and its branch offices around the world. It's fortunate for Thailand to have the office of the UN SCAP located in our country, serving more than 50 countries in Asia Pacific countries, seem to be the biggest office of UN in Asia. So because of that advantage, Thailand has been hosted uh, a host of UN celebration here in Thailand for the last say uh, 17 years, except for three times that the celebration moved to Vietnam and once to Sri Lanka. Because of our continuous activity that we have been together and work together. The, the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations, or ECOSOC, granted special consultative status to our organization, of which I am the president, 
The name of organization is International Council for the Day of Vesak, ICDV. So ICDV in capacity of consultative organization to ECOSOC, work closely with the world body. In every year of celebration, we choose the team really went to uh, the UN policies, especially SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. Out of 17 goals of SDG, two of the goals we selected as the main team for this year. One is about health, the other is peace and solidarity, peace and justice. That's why this year's celebration, you will, in this year celebration, you will see the main theme of our celebration is related to these two issues. The main theme is compassion in times of crisis, Buddhist practices in healing global community. So in the morning session, we will listen to the keynote speech by most of the Bhikkhu Bodhi. He will present uh, a video a keynote speech. In the afternoon, there will be two panel discussions related to our main theme. The first panel discussion in the afternoon will be about pandemic, the problem of health, how Buddhists contribute, how the Buddhists contribute to uh, solving this crisis. We will hear from our experts in the afternoon. Please join us. Followed by the second panel discussion on peace and solidarity because we have to voice our concern for the conflict happening here and there in the world. Besides these two panel discussion, side by side in the afternoon, we uh, have a workshop on a separate room. The, the topic of workshop is on translation and terminology consistency. It is about the Tripitaka translation project. This project is proposed by the Supreme Sangha Council of Thailand and approved and supported by the government of Thailand to translate, to invite international scholars to work together to, to translate Tripitaka or Buddhist scripture from uh, Pali in Sayamaratha edition into English, 45 volumes all together into English to be accessible by general readers, practitioners, and scholars alike. We hope that uh, this project will be a great tribute to our, our His Majestic King Mahavachila Longkorn on the occasion of his coronation and proclamation of himself as the Royal Preton of Buddhism. Friends, uh, we will begin our morning session by uh, presenting the message from the UN Secretary General and uh, Executive Secretary of uh, UNS camp. So I would like to invite uh, Mr. Ms. Se, Chief of the Communication and Knowledge Management Section of UNS CAP, on behalf of the staff office to introduce and present us 
the message. Hope that all of us on site here, I have to say that for those who are uh, joining online, it is a procedure of the UNS CAP here that the capacity of this room, this conference room, can uh, accept only 25% of the participant. So 25% capacity. So that's why you have to sit scattering here and there, not uh, be able to uh, welcome uh, international scholars to this room. This, anyway, policy is relaxing this year, which is different from the last two years, which is not uh, here. This place is not allowed for international meeting like this. So this is a matter of joy and happiness. Indeed, I'm thankful to the UNS camp for allowing, allowing us to come to this a uh, significant meeting in the historic, uh, in the symbolic place of our unity, the UN body here. So that's why first we'd like to begin our program by inviting the host to read the message of the UN Secretary General or to deliver or to introduce whatever and followed by the message by the Executive Secretary of the UN escape. Uh, please, Mr. Mr. Say to take the floor. Thank you. 